There's also a question on Minnesota's ballot that will impact Minnesota's outdoors and the environment. Fox 9's Leon Purvis joining us live outside the state capitol with more on that ballot referendum. Leon? Kelsey, Randy, the question for voters is if you want to renew some of the state's lottery money to go towards the environment and natural resources. One U of M professor says that this fund started in 1988. There is no new taxpayer dollars. This is from the state lottery. If you don't play the state lottery, then you're not going to be affected by this at all. For 35 years, 40% of the Minnesota lottery revenue has gone to protect drinking water sources and the water quality of lakes, rivers, and streams. Then in 1998, it was renewed. Voters can decide Tuesday if they want to renew it again for another 25 years. About a billion dollars that's already gone in to the environment. Uh, Minnesotans have passionate about the outdoors, and this is the way they back it up with uh, hard-earned dollars. It also includes conserving wildlife habitat and natural areas, along with expanding access to parks and trails. U of M politics professor Larry Jacobs says the vote of this fund is broadly supported, but some Republicans criticize the trust fund renewal. There are Republicans who are criticizing it now uh, for several reasons. One is the legislature will no longer have a role. The commissioner of the DNR will be making the final uh, determinations. With things heating up in the race for the White House and a potential flip of the Minnesota State House, the lottery question isn't getting a lot of attention. And way down below is this constitutional amendment about whether 40% of the state lottery ought to be continue going into uh, the environment and natural resources. Jacobs adds, if voters want to approve this and continue the renewal, they would have to box in yes. Now, if they skip this question on the ballot, then it will be considered as a no vote. And if it doesn't pass, then the funds will go back into the state's general fund. Then lawmakers will determine what to do with it. Live outside the Capitol, Leon Purvis, Fox 9. All right. Thank you, Leon.